Hello, my name is Ellie, I'm part of Grace Church and I'm going to chat to you today um, about some of my thoughts on reaching Nottingham with the good news of Jesus um, in a time of coronavirus. So I think the first thing that I would say about evangelism is that it's not something that I've always found easy, um, I still don't. I have the sort of personality where I love to get alongside people and identify with them, which is generally a great thing. Um, but has sometimes led to times when I've been talking to a friend who seems to be doing just fine, who seems to have their life in order, and I can temporarily forget that they need a saviour just as much as anyone, and that their life is ultimately empty if it is not built with the king at the very centre. But I do know that despite our personality differences, we have all been given the ability to carry with us the light of Jesus into wherever we go. And when I look at Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, the perfect model of living in every way, what I see is two things that might be helpful for our evangelism, authenticity and dependence. So firstly, authenticity. I have always find, found it helpful to strive for and more importantly ask God to help me with um, true authenticity when I talk about him. So rather than working really hard to get in all of those cleverly worded arguments and to always sound as convincing and persuasive as possible, I try to talk about Jesus as what he is first and foremost to me. The one that I love, that I closely cherish, that holds my heart that has transformed me. I try to introduce him to my friends as my closest friend. Let your authentic adoration of Jesus spill out in your sharing of him, not just in your worship times at church, um, but in when you share him with your friends, because sharing is also an act of worship, isn't it? As well as that of obedience. I think people respond really well to authenticity and if those people know you then they will recognise that this is real for you and true. So another thing that I've found helpful is to um, always have my story ready. Um, go back and check out Rick's video in this series for his 90 second testimony. I found that so helpful um, to always just be prepared um, to share because I, I, I want to show to my friends that I am always delighted to talk of my king and my saviour and my friends. Um, you know, think about that friend who, with very little prompting, will talk about sport for hours or you know, how much of a cinematic masterpiece Avengers Endgame is. That enthusiasm is how we should be prepared always to talk about Jesus. And so, as well as authenticity, um, what I think is really important is dependence. Jesus, although of course he is fully God, is under the full authority of the Father and is completely dependent and connected to him. So what I would say to you is stay plugged in. And what I mean by that is, is based on what it says in John chapter 15, Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Our evangelism becomes duty, becomes works-based, inauthentic and just really hard if we do not do it out of a place of overflow from our connection with the source of life. Apart from him, unplugged and far removed from the love of God, we can do nothing. So give your mornings to him, give your evenings to him, worship him, fill your mind with his word and his words about you. Sit in the knowledge that there is no condemnation over you, that you are delighted in and accepted and loved. And let God break your heart for your friends and family who do not have that and ask him to help you authentically show what he means to you in your life. So I hope that some of this was helpful and I hope to see you very soon. Bye.